Today I'm going to be telling a story that happened last night. I called a... Alright, this... I called an abortion place. Now, I'm not pregnant, nor was I. I called more for the experience of knowing what advice I would get. And to my surprise, it was probably the best advice I give, which is why I'm spreading it on to everybody who is going through the tough phase of, should I have an abortion? So here's the backstory I told to the nice young lady on the telephone. Um, basically what happened was, There's this guy named Treshawn. He's a basketball player. Uh, very good. Every girl wants him. You know, he he's kind of a player. Asks you on a date. And you really better go. Because nobody turns off a date from an old Treshawn. Everybody knows he's a typical pump and don't play ya. And usually he goes for the more, uh, the more hood types. Now you look at me. And I'm not a hood type. I'm a hood rat, mole rat, mongoloid chink. Who knows what he was thinking when he picked this out. But he did. And uh, what did I do? Yes, I, I uh, took my chance to mate with, with that. And what was the result? Well, it's going to be a future, uh, put peanut butter into the micro, into the freezer for two years, take it out after two years. That's the color of my baby. Now, my dad is a hardcore conservative Christian racist. And if he finds out uh, that I am having a person of color child. He's not going to be happy. So this is where the person on the telephone cuts me off. Uh, she keeps doing this for the whole conversation. You know, I'm already called for uh, advice for me. But of course, as a woman, it is natural for you to want to talk about yourself all the time. So that's just what she does. And she tells me that every person she knows... Uh, that has gotten an abortion, doesn't regret it. That is, I'm not lying, she literally said that. So, it was only weird when, a few minutes later, I told her my best friend got an abortion. And uh, it was the best decision she ever made. For some reason, that surprised the, the young lady on the phone. Now, the young lady on the phone was more of a a sister, as some of you may be familiar with, a sister, uh, it's kind of what she sounded like, uh, she told me my hormones, my hormones are supposed to be going, quote, crazy, unquote. Alright, when we're, when we're talking about abortion, it's really an appropriate time to try and uh, fit in with the kids and use black girl terms. Thank you for that. <sighs> so, uh, what was I talking about? Anyways, yeah. I, and then, uh, so we go into talking about adoption, how adoption's an option. That rhymed. Um... Uh, and I told her autism ran in my family, and uh, she told me not to worry about that, that God does, uh, does what he does for a reason, which was supposed to sound like a good thing. And then she literally said the R word to me. I asked her politely to not use the R word around me. If you don't know what that is, it's retard. I usually don't say that because it offends me. Um, I wasn't crying, it's just, I'm half dead here. And, uh, let's see here. That God does what he does for a reason. And, 
not to worry about the future, worry what's going on right now, which is great advice, you know, for your world issues, that's, don't worry about the future, what could possibly happen in the future, worry about right now, what is going on right now, never think about the future, think about now and the past, live in the past, you know, you see, uh, those, um, high school dads, not that, alright, your dad was probably born in 1964, 1957, somewhere around there, and, uh, he was great in high school, you know, he, he got all the chicks, and, uh, everything was great, but now that he is a 56-year-old citizen bordering, uh, all he can talk about and think about and all his stories happen to reflect around his senior year. What did that have to relate with the story? I completely forgot. And I keep forgetting what I'm talking about, unfortunately. So... Oh, don't worry what's going on in the future, worry about. Yeah. So my, uh, that was really it, man. Then afterwards, she gave me probably an approximate, not lying about this, 10-minute prayer. Which was horrible. Um... So if you need abortion advice, I'd say, yeah, definitely turn to a sister doing community service work on an abortion line. Definitely work for me. Uh, I, I love, uh, I love my, my brown, my brown, uh, monkey child. He's such a monkey, and I don't mean that in a racist way. He's a he's a little uh, chimp, little little fun monkey. You know, he monkeys around all the time. You go from a monkey evolving into a chimp, so we'll call it monkeying out for now. Disclaimer: I'm not really pregnant. I've never met a Trayshawn in my life. I've never came in contact with came into contact with a person of color and hopefully I won't so share your abortion stories tell me if uh, if you've had an abortion and uh, yeah 